times I feel like a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Oh, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Colby Rebel Show. I am your host, Colby Rebel, where my goal tonight is to make that spirit connection or answer that psychic question for you. So get into those call lines. Here you go. That number is 310-997-4966. 310-997-4966. So we had a week off last week, but I have missed you guys. So we are doing another date night tonight. So I'm looking forward to taking your calls, answering those questions, making those connections. And uh, we're just going to dive in and have a great time, right? A couple things. I have a lot of events coming up. I really wanted to put a good amount of things together for all of you. And here is that list. So I'm just going to go over it. So you have an idea of what is coming up in case something sounds really good to you. So the first thing is this is a live on air workshop. And this really is for anyone who is looking to do readings on air, whether it's on a podcast, a radio show, you want your own podcast, just kind of helps you read a little more quickly and accurately. So I'm very, very excited about that. It is Sunday, September 26th. Then the next one we have is Awaken Your Gifts. This one is really one of my favorites. It is for the beginners where I get a chance to help you understand intuition, psychic, mediumship connections. Are you gifted? How are you gifted? You know, really understanding that foundation a bit more. So that's always a lot of fun. And then here's an evening of spirit messages. So I'm going to connect to your loved ones on the other side. This is an hour and a half where I make those connections and I really love doing this. This is very similar to the show here, except we have an hour and a half together and I go ahead and just deliver those messages from the other side for you. So as I mentioned, a lot coming up. Last but not least, we do have the spiritual business group mentoring And this really is an opportunity if you want to build your own spiritual business. How do you do it? How do you get started? That foundation, maybe taking it to the next level. So again, lots going on. You can always just check out the website, colbyrebel.com to see what is that match for you. And uh, I'm already getting so many callers in the call line. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with that. Here's a couple things, as most of you already know. Please, no speakerphone. It just simply doesn't work. The speakerphone, the Bluetooth, as much as I would love for it to work for you, it doesn't. It just creates a lot of static and interference, which just makes it more difficult, especially for the listeners who are wanting to kind of be a bit nosy and tune into that connection as well and join us. So... No speakerphone, Bluetooth, just put that phone up to the ear. Let's go ahead and take a moment to put away all spouses, children, and pets so that there's no uh, ringing, dinging during the program, okay? And again, we just want the best quality that we can just so everyone has the best experience possible. If you do want that spirit connection, who is it you want to connect to? Just let me know. Makes it quicker and easier. And if you have that psychic question, what is that question? And we're going to dive in. I like to try to get as many as I can. If you recently just called in and had that connection, I am going to ask that you disconnect from the call lines. Uh, I do appreciate you calling in each and every week, but we want to get as many callers in as possible since we have a few every episode, okay? So we're just going to spread that love tonight. So here we go. Let us just start with these callers, right? And see what's going on and what is happening. Okay. How about we do 315? Hi, 315. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, this is Patricia. Hi, Patricia. How are you? 
Oh, uh, I'm doing all right. Patricia, what Could be can better. I do? Thank I'm sure. My son passed away on oh, June 3rd. My goodness. Okay. And, um, he he died of dis the artery of the dissection of the artery. His his heart ripped. Okay. Okay. And so I was, was wanting to he, connect to him. Was, I, yeah. Could okay. I please, if you could? Please? Yeah. Let's do this. So I I feel like a couple things with him. You know, I just feel like for him, it's just such a sweet soul. Makes sense. Like there's such a sweetness to him. Does that make sense to you, Patricia? Yes, it does. Like just a, yes, a, a, a very, very, very polite. Like when he comes through, he's not pushy. He's just very polite. Nice, um, you know, a little bit of that, um, if I say like, uh, I don't know if he's Southern, but just Southern hospitality, just that, that real gentleman feel. You understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. He also really gives me a sense to, uh, I do feel like this passing does feel to be more sudden. I don't think we were expecting this. We're not really knowing him to be ill prior to this. Makes sense? Yes. Okay. Yes, he was um, Okay. And I also just feel like to me, yeah, because I feel like he always would brag about how strong he was. <laughs> Like, I feel like, you know, yeah. he's always bragging he's so strong and things like that. So, again, this is a bit of a surprise. But I also feel like he, he lets me know he's a mama's boy. Like, he took care of your mom, would talk to you all the time, um, always really there for you as well. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he lets me know, I do know that he's okay. He makes me feel like there's a man with him who was on the other side. So I feel like this would be a father or a grandfather for him that he would have been close to on the other side that was there to greet him, okay? And I feel like okay. these two were like, uh, had a lot in common, these two. So you would understand a grandfather for him on the other, dad, I guess his dad is still in the living because he makes me feel like this is a grandfather for him. So would you understand a grandfather yeah. on the other, maybe this is your dad. Your dad would be on the other side. Is that right, Patricia? That's correct. Okay. Because he makes me feel like your dad, your dad is the one that, and your dad is a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, more direct than your son in personality. Would that make sense around your father? Absolutely. Like a real no nonsense man and, and, and not a whole lot of talking. Short sentences, short words, <laughs> like get to the point. But he makes me feel like he was right there for, and actually, Patricia, I believe your mom is also on the other side. Am I correct? Because a lady just stepped in as well. Yes. She just okay. passed away too. Okay. They are together. Yes. They just, she just gave me chills and she says, don't you worry. I've got our baby. I'm taking care of him. Okay. So I don't want you to worry about this. I, I, I know it's, this is so, so tragic for you. I, I, you know, I can only imagine the, the grief of losing a son, especially one who's like such a, a good boy, right? Such a good person, led a good life, yeah. tried to do good by others, you know, but I, I just know that they are together, but your mom is, you know, she loves just taking care of the kids. So this is like right up her alley to have him to take care of. Right. <laughs> so she really right. lets, she lets me know she's got him all taken care of. And so he, by no means is he alone, but he does share with me, you know, that it's been extremely dark for you. I feel like, you know, it's been hard for you to get up, to move around. Um, he makes me feel like you're, you're mostly kind of laying around either on the couch, things like that. Is that correct, Patricia? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's just saying, mom, mm -hmm. get up. I want you to get up, mom. I want you to move around. And it's also one of the things too, is like, you know, I feel like normally you would like to look out the window, look out the yard, be in the yard. And he keeps saying, get back to the backyard, mom. I keep showing you signs, but you're not getting up. So maybe if you could try to, you know, feel inspired to look outside because I feel like you're going to see a sign from him. Okay. And I really do feel like he's letting you know that he's around. Have you had, I know this sounds so crazy, but have you noticed like a bird 
coming to the window. He makes me feel like it's a bird and it's coming to the window to try to get your attention. Yeah, I was at the cemetery. I okay. go to the cemetery twice a day. Okay. Uh, um, I see I see cardinals all the time. Okay. I feel like you he's know? trying to show you one at the house as well. Okay. So maybe if you could okay. just start really being outside of the house a bit more, if you could allow yourself to do that, because I feel like he wants to come yeah. forward and let you know. He also makes me feel like, I feel like there's a cross. Would you, would you have a connection to a cross with him? Either you're wearing a cross or maybe there's a cross on the tombstone. To me, I keep feeling like he's showing me a cross. You understand that connection with him. He gave me a cross. I, he, I don't know what it, I, he was talking about a rosary before. I don't know if it's a rosary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, okay. I, I, I feel, well, rosary is a cross as well, right? Normally there are crosses as well. Yeah. Okay. So he may. I have one. I have one. Okay. Cause he feels like he's, he lets me know. Mm, I I believe he's correcting me and going back to the cross that he gave you. I feel like we're going back to the one. And I just feel like it's letting you know uh -huh. that he's around you. He wants to let you know that he's around you. Okay. And I do okay. feel like, you know, he also shows me a little card, uh, one of those cards that we would have from a service. And I feel like you have his image. Yeah. So I feel like you have an, his image along with uh, a poem or some writing. You understand this? Yeah. He wants yeah. to let you know he likes, he likes the picture you chose. So I feel like you chose a picture where he looked quite handsome. <laughs> I don't know if he'd been recently shaved <laughs> in the picture, but he makes me feel like he looked good. So he just wanted to thank you for the picture. I feel like you chose that picture. Am I right? No, I didn't choose the picture that okay. my daughter or my, he was married. His okay. wife said. Let her, let her know that, uh, he really enjoyed, he liked that picture she chose. Okay. So if you could, okay. you could share that. And I do feel like, I actually feel like he's making me feel like there might've been children he left behind. So would you understand him having kids? He had one. one okay. A, a boy. I, I feel One. like he's letting us know to give love to his son, to give love to this baby. Okay. And yeah. it's, yeah. you know, and the other thing too, is I feel like he was planning on a second, like him and his wife may have been talking about a second child. So I feel like, you know, he's just sending love from the other side, letting us know that he's going to be around everyone, but also letting you know, mom, he's okay. He doesn't want you to worry. He wants to let you know that he's okay and he's right there with you. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave I, that with you. I'm sorry. Can Can I ask you one question? Okay. Can, can you Can you find out if he was alone when he passed? If the, it, in what way? Meaning alone in the physical or alone with spirit? Alone in the and and in, in the Earth, living they, on they Earth because they were arguing. I don't know if he was there alone. I don't feel like he anyone was around him. It was very very Nobody sudden. Was around. No, it was very because they found him. Am I correct? Somebody found him. Yeah, so she wasn't there then with him. No, it feels like she stormed out. Did she say she stormed out? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't okay. know what happened. It feels like. I don't, I, in my heart, I believe he was alone. It makes me, I feel like she left and he was alone when, when this happened. But it was also very, very sudden. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Thank you so much for your, you're, you're God welcome. bless you for doing this for me. You too. Patricia, I lots of love. It. Lots of love. He doesn't want you to worry about Thank him. You. Okay, please don't worry about him. Okay. Okay. One thing he I'll wants to say, to, I, I do want to just say this really quickly. You know, I know they were arguing, as you said, but he, he just tells me though, it's important. Yeah, they were having trouble, but I just feel like if she was there, he says, mom, she would have done something. I, she, she didn't, you know, she, she would have done something. I don't want you to think that she was there and didn't do anything. So I just feel like she just wasn't there. He was by himself. Okay. Okay. Okay.
All right. Okay, Lots of love to you. So no, you're welcome. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, let us do another caller. Here we go. Uh, how about 903? Hi, 903. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, Colby. This is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What can I do for you tonight? Um, I was just wondering if you could connect me to my mom. Okay, got it. The first thing, is, now, first of all, it's been a little while since mom has passed. Am I right? Yeah. Because I feel like you were younger when she passed. Is that correct, sweetheart? Yeah, I was 18. Okay. okay. And she gives me a feeling, though, I feel like mom was very playful, though. Would, would you understand that? She had a very playful side, playful sense of humor. Yeah. And I, yeah, feel like, I feel like she acted young. I, to me, I get a sense that, you know, she acted younger than her years. Does that make sense around her personality? Yeah. Because I feel like. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And she really gives me a sense to where I feel like obviously the two of you were very, very close. And I feel like with her, she gives me a sense of illness though. So am I correct that she passed from illness? Um, yeah. Okay. Because I feel like there's something in her, uh, she gives me a, the essence of something in her chest. She liked to have fun. She liked to kind of move around a lot. So I feel like she had been active, active in your life as well prior to this passing. Right. And I, I just feel like the two of you could really talk. The other thing too, is I, I kind of feel like you're a bit stubborn. Would that make sense around your personality? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. I feel like you know, when you were in those teens, I, you know, you were a little defiant, right? I mean, most teen girls are, if I'm going to be honest, but I feel like you were a little frisky. And I feel like she lets me know, yeah. though, that, <laughs> that, you know, she, the one thing is, is that she's so proud of how strong you are. You, you know, like you have a real strong fight in you and she loves that about you. Okay. She makes me feel like that's yeah. something that that's that she's really really proud of okay and i also get a sense too where i feel like she wasn't able to see everyone prior to her passing does that make sense where not everyone was able to make it or not everyone was there would that be correct is it you that wasn't yeah. there honey yeah yeah okay she doesn't i i guess she just makes me feel like she doesn't want you to hold on to this okay because again, I mean, I think you yeah. were away and you were young, right? So I feel like she doesn't want you to worry about this. But she also gives me a feeling as well of letting you know that she's just so, so proud of you. I feel like you have siblings, like you're not an only child. Am I correct? Um, well, I have a half uh, brother and a half sister, but it's on my dad's side. Okay, got it. She make, okay, so this is your only, uh, the mom, for her, you're the only child. Yeah. But she makes me feel like, yes. I think with the half siblings, though, I feel like either you, you do talk to them or you're close to them. I, I feel like there is a connection with them, correct? Um, I'm, my brother's 13 and um, my sister I only met once. Um, but he was born when I was 16, so we're really not that close right I now. see, Okay. She gives me the feeling, I there's a woman in your life, she gives me the feeling of a woman in your life that you're close to. So I don't, I'm just trying mm -hmm. to figure out who this person is. And she makes me feel like she's okay. happy that you have this person to talk to, that you have this person to connect with. So maybe this is like a best friend mm -hmm. or something that feels like a sister, but she, she keeps giving me the essence of that there's someone you have, that she is happy that you have this person in your life. Okay. So, and she also shares with me that she's around you a lot. Like she gives me, she gives me the feeling where she's really around you a lot and she keeps trying to tap on you. So I don't know if you get chills or if you've noticed, but she gives me a feeling of trying to touch you. So do you recognize that at yeah. all? Okay. Because. Yeah. Yeah. Like on um, my leg, I might get the chills or I might feel something like on my arm. Yep, that's her. So just know that that's her and that yeah. she's uh, around you, okay? 
And I also feel like it's letting you know, like, again, you weren't able, you weren't in a place to speak your piece. You weren't in a place to really be able to say goodbye the way you needed to. But she wants to let you know there are no goodbyes. She says there are no goodbyes, okay? And then she kind of gives me that saying to the moon and back, love you to the moon and back. So she says that to you. So I'm not sure if that's something she would have said in the living, but she gives it to me now for you, okay? Okay. And she also gives okay. me uh, letting you know that, again, you are, I feel like she is so proud of where you are. I feel like you work really hard, you strive, and I feel like she's extremely proud of you and, you know, of the successes you have and not to be too hard on yourself. I think sometimes you could be a little hard on yourself and she doesn't want you to be hard on yeah. yourself. Okay. And okay. the thing is, is I know it's really hard to miss her. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those voids that we can never really fill. Right. And right. You know, the only thing I can share with you is of how much she is around you and how much she is with you. I feel like, are you in a relationship, sweetheart? Does that make sense? She gives me the sense yeah. of a relationship. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I'm just not sure if I should stay with him. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I feel like what she wants to say is it, it's almost like, again, you're very, very strong and you're going to be okay. And, you know, she doesn't want you to settle. And I get the, I get a feeling you're settling a bit in this relationship. And it's like, just be strong and know your worth. And I feel like, know you should be treated a certain way both of us kind of feel like this person isn't doing that would you understand that yeah i think so okay yeah. okay so i'm not going to make that decision for you and neither is she but i do feel like we're kind of encouraging you to not settle in this relationship okay honey okay all right lots of love to you oh. sweetheart i want you to have a beautiful night Thank you. lots of love uh from your mom and uh, really quick, though, just one more thing. Is there, would you know a Mary or a Marie connection, an M name, either in the living or in spirit? Could be a middle name. Um, I honestly can't think of it right now. Can I ask your um, mom's name? I don't name? think so. What's your mom's name, honey? Um, my mom's Lorena Gale. Mm, no, there's a... I feel like there's an M name and the person I feel like is on the other side with your mom. So this may be a grandmother or uh, an aunt, but there's an M as a M as a initial for the first or middle name with her. So I'll just okay. leave it with you to kind of think yeah, about. Okay. Yeah. And you could put it in the um, comments, in the Facebook comments, if you on the page, if you kind of end up figuring out who it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I really do. I All feel right. like this is like a grandmother or a great grandmother. There's some there's something here. There's a connection to your mom with it, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll look into it. Okay. Lots of love Thank to you, Colby. sweetheart. You're welcome. You have a good night, honey. Um, bye bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, everybody. Let us do a, another caller here. Here we go. Let us do eight five six. Hi, 856. This is Colby. Who is this? My name's Laura. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. What can I do for you tonight? So one of my friends, really good friends, recently passed away. Okay. Her and I actually both saw you in Alloway when you came there. Oh, okay. But her name is Debbie. Okay. Did she get her, a reading? Like, um, I'm really good friends with did she get a reading at um, that? I think one, one, one time she did, yeah. The one time one of her friends that passed away came forward when we were there. Okay. It's so weird because I keep being shown a picture of a lady. That's why I was like, oh, I wonder if she got a message. Like, I feel like I may even have a picture of this lady. Um, I'd have to, I'm going right. to check my alloway. Um, do me a favor on the Facebook page, or, you know, uh, while we're doing it live, if you, if you don't mind posting a photo of her, if you're allowed to do that, I'm going to check the Alloway events because I think I have a picture of her. Um, so be nice. Because okay. she, she just gives me like a big old hug. Like, oh, Kobe, it's good to see you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that sounds just like her. You know, it's like we're, we're, we're BFFs now, right? 
Yes, but just, yes. <laughs> but she really gives me, and she's not that old. Like, I don't think she's that old, which is just so surprising, right? So I feel I like. I think she was 57, 58. Yeah, that's pretty young, right? So um, baby to me, yes. Yeah, yeah, baby to me. Yeah, very young. But she gives me a sense where just a a big old, a, a big old smile, whomever she sees, right? It's a big, make uh, absolutely uh, such a warmth, like putting her arms around people, uh, saying hi to people. Everyone is family and like just going so out yes, of her yes. way for people, you know, you know, when we say the, the shirt time. off my yes. back, right? I think she liked yard sales. Do you know if she happened to, she just said yard sale. Do you know she just happened to like yard sales by chance? I know that's so random. I don't know. I don't, I don't know really. Okay. I don't and you have like, and you haven't been to a yard sale recently, have you? By chance, I know that's just I so weird. No. Okay, ask around right. the family yeah. because I, she said something about yard sale. So just ask around the family to see if someone's been to a yard sale or she like something weird. But she really gives me. Also, to me, there's a, there's a problems with her body. I feel like she was having some some problems with her body. Does that make sense prior to her passing? Yeah. Okay. Because she makes me feel like, uh, I almost feel like either also her feet would have bothered her or she had trouble walking. There's something where it was hard to be on uh, her yes, feet. She did. Okay. And so yep. she, she gives me that. I feel like she was married. Am I correct? Because I just feel like I'm looking at a ring on her finger. Yep. She was. Okay. Because, and, and I feel like she's also got uh, kids. I mean, they're a little older, but I think I wonder if she's got two kids. Do you know if there's two for her? Do you know that or not know that? So she has she has three kids. Two are a little bit older. One is 13. I got it. I feel like for her, she really gives me... Are two of the same gender, though? We must have two of the same and then one... Yes. One, okay, yep. that's, that's what she's two talking about. Two are girls about. and the youngest yeah. is a boy. Yeah, that's what she talks about. There's something where I think she's ill prior to her passing, but there's like... She says she went downhill quickly. I, you, does you understand this downhill quickly? Yeah, and, yeah. Yep. And, and I feel like, you know, the one thing is, is she wants a lot of support for the 13 year old because it's like, he doesn't fully understand or he wasn't able to be there for everything. There's something here where he doesn't fully understand. And she wants to make sure everybody comes together for him. And, and I think he really likes chop chocolate chip cookies or chocolate. So she wants people to make things for yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you could do that. Now, I know this is really recent and soon, but I wonder if like you and the daughters are getting a tattoo. I may, you know, I'm under, like, she makes me feel like y'all, you you guys are talking and there's going to be a tattoo. You know what? So I, not with her daughters, I myself have talked about one. Okay. Got it. So what's interesting, if you end up talking to her daughters, I think they have talked about getting one as well. And so just oh, okay. know that. Yeah, so it'd be interesting. So she's like, let's organize this. <laughs> she's she's big on organizing. Sound, yeah, Everything like needs her. to be organized, okay? Yes. And she just shows me a rose. So I feel like either there's a connection to a rose or the name rose with her. So she shows me a rose with her. And I feel like, do you I, know, part of, go ahead. I, I could be so wrong on this, but mm -hmm. I don't know if she has a friend that passed away. That might be her name. Okay. I feel like uh, I, if that, I could be wrong, but it's in I, my head. Something is ringing a bell with a name. Yeah, I, I do. She brings me that name and she just makes me feel like there's a lot of laughing, a lot of laughing with this person and a lot of good times. Now she brings me back to you and now she goes back to the laughing, right? She just lets me know with you, you two would like fall off your seats laughing. Like when, especially when the two of you were together, yeah, right? We, it is like you two were yeah, trouble together. Yeah. And I think you guys drink a little or one of you drinks more than the other. She's pointing a finger at you. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely drink more than her. Okay. But she, <laughs> she she's calling you out. And I do believe that you've raised the toast and I in her honor. I can see her doing that right now. Um, yeah, yeah. She's raised, you've raised the toast, like you've, you, 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 
either you've had a drink and you've tapped it on, you know how you tap it on the bar and then drink it. Yeah. It, yeah. Yep. She's lets me know she knows yeah. you're doing this for her. Okay. One of the things okay. is, is she just wants to let you know, uh, you know how, I mean, she loves, first and foremost, she loves her family. Okay. I feel like she loves Absolutely. her husband, loves her husband. I don't know if there's a Bob. Do you know the name Bob or Rob, Robert, Bob? Do you know that name as a connecting for her? Um, not off the top of my head. Find out. I, the name Rob, Bob, there's something there with it, okay? I will. Okay. I mean, I know an R, which would be her husband's name. Yeah, I think this is what she's, this is what she's talking about. What's his name, sweetheart? So he, his name is Ron. That's fine. That's fine. Because it was like Bob, Rob, I get it. This is her. So she wants... It's like, and, and he, you know, I feel like he's extremely devastated. You know, he's having a very, very hard time. And I also feel like she was one that was taking care of everything, like the laundry, the house and all that. So again, and I feel like the daughters are stepping in to help, but anything that you can do to Absolutely. just kind of lend support, she's just asking if you don't mind doing it. I don't think you live too far from him. So that's why I think she's asking you no, if you I don't, don't mind. Okay. If you don't mind just kind of seeing if he needs anything, offering help. But she just wants to tell you how much she loves you. I think there's a bit of raspiness to her laugh. Is that right? Like um, a laugh, but it's got a bit, there's a bit of, um, it's got a big laugh, but a, a little bit of like a, a raspiness where it gets broken up. Yes, yes sometimes, okay. yeah. Okay. So she gives me this, but she just wants to let you know that she is fine. She lets us know that uh, she's she's okay. And it is, I, I just think more than, than anything, her family needs help. And anything that you could do, you know, would be there. I wonder if you worked with her. Did you work with her by chance? No, I never worked with her. So we've just been really good friends. Our sons became best friends. So okay. she became... My best friend and like my son's second mom. Got it. I feel like for her, there's an, a sense of, would one of your sons play baseball or sports, something like this? Both, both of them play baseball. I got it. Okay. So again, you know, one of those things is you go to all the games or I felt, I feel like you go, you know, you try to make your son's games. And again, just being there for her son as well, as much as you can. Yes. Would, would oh, just be so absolutely. appreciated. Okay. Just so appreciated. She shows me the number 13. I don't know if the 13 is the date or a number on the back of a jersey. I don't know 13. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Check. I have like ideas in my head, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay. If, if Just check if it's the, the number on a jersey or the 13th of a month. But she gives me the 13. So I know it's connecting somewhere. Okay. And yeah, yeah. She, she just gives me, she gives me this love. I am just curious though. Do you know on the back of her son's jersey, is there a three, a three in his number or yours? There's a, she definitely no. showed me this three. But he's 99. He's okay. 99 and mine is one five. Okay. Check the 13. There's a 13. Just, just see where that connects. It's the 13th of a month. Maybe it's someone's birthday or there's something there. So I'm going to leave that with you. Um, but it's your job it be, to check and I, it. Um, I know her, her, her one son is in, is in October. I don't know if he's the 13th or not. Okay. I really feel like this is someone's birthday. So just when you figure it out, say happy birthday and put it in the Facebook for us. Do you mind? Okay. Okay. No, I don't mind. Okay. And if you can post a picture of her, please do that because I, I want to see if I have a picture of her from the event and I'd love to pass it on to you okay. guys. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Lots of love to you guys. Lots of love. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Oh, you know, it's so hard because I would have, you know, the event had a, a couple hundred people, right? They're so big, but it's just, you know, it's just so incredible you know when you know someone and then they're on the other side but you, it's so much you know you guys personality doesn't change like people may understand and they learn and maybe they have certain things they want to apologize or bring forward but it's interesting to see how personalities they really bring through that personality and I love how they constantly want to reassure us that they are okay
And I always find that to be so, so powerful from the other side. Let us uh, do another call here. Here we go. Let us do uh, 609. Hi, 609. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, my name is Nancy. Oh, hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well. What can I do for you? I just wanted to see if um, you could connect with my husband. Okay, got it. You know, the essence I got from him was a, a stronger man. I, I, I think, like, he doesn't budge a lot. <laughs> So I don't think he's super sensitive. Uh, I just feel like he's just this strong kind of character to him. Does that make sense around your husband? Yes. Yes, it does. And he just, he makes me feel like it's, he doesn't waver. Like his loyalty doesn't waver. When he shows up for you, he doesn't waver. He's very much just this, just this insane rock for you uh, that would hold you. And, and I feel like you can sometimes be a more emotional and yet he would just be there and hold you and, and just hold that space for you. And he, and he didn't let people take advantage of you. That really infuriated him. You know, not he's pretty, you know, it takes a lot to kind of tick him off. But I think when he saw people taking advantage of you or doing something, that that's something that like he was like, no, not on my watch. Makes sense? Yes, absolutely does. And, and then even after he passed, I feel like he was so, even from the other side, making sure that people were not taking advantage of you, making sure that things were working out, uh, you know, the settlement of things, how things got divided, just making sure no one was kind of pulling the wool over your eyes, so to speak. You understand that? Yes, yes, I okay. do. I and do. He, sh he shares with me, there's something around the house. So I feel like you might, may have owned the house um, and maybe there's like now things to do with the house. Would that make sense? Yes, I okay. sold our house. Okay. He wants to let you know that this is okay. Um, I feel like this was so hard for you because I feel like you've been there a long time. And a lot of the yeah. stuff, a lot of stuff we had to go through and get rid of. And and, it just, and he had stuff, you know, he kind of laughs because I think there was an attic or a basement where he had stuff stored <laughs> away that we all... He goes, God knows, Colby, it didn't fit me anymore, but I held on to it. And he just kind of gives me <laughs> gives me this laugh that those are things that you had to get rid of and, and, you know, that it was hard. He makes me feel like there's an old jacket. Do you remember, like, an old jacket, uh, a, a coat that would have been his, maybe leather or something like this? An old, yes. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Yes, he did. Yeah. So he lets me, he loved this jacket, by the way. <laughs> It was threadbare. It was like, it, I don't think it quite fit him that well either, but he loved this thing. But he lets us know. It wasn't leather, but yes, he loved it. Okay. He lets us know that he talks about his wedding ring. Do, uh, do you happen to have his wedding ring or you kept the wedding ring? I do have it. Okay. He wants to yes. let you know he knows you have this, okay? Okay. It's weird. There's something he shows me. He shows me, I feel like it might be basic, like, don't answer yet, like a basic wedding ring, but maybe you had wanted diamonds in it or something about diamonds in a wedding band. So does that connection make sense it, it, that it, it's a simple, I feel like he's not a guy for diamonds in his wedding band, right? This, that's not the impression I get from him, but he showed no, me diamonds, not. but he showed me diamonds. So I don't know if it's that he's referring to diamonds in a ring he got for you. Um, or your wedding band or ring has more diamonds in it. So can you help me with this? He got me a, he got me a, a diamond band for our 10th anniversary. That's Because our, my engagement diamond was Where we small. Go. Okay. Now he lets me know for you to, you know, wear this ring, you know, you can move it, you can move it to the other hand, he says, but, but to wear this ring. So you always know his love for you. Okay. Okay. But I feel like, you know, you, you need to do you and you need to do you in your time frame. But I want you to know, I, I almost like you might still wear this ring or still wear it on the ring finger, but he's letting me know it's okay to move it, move it to the other hand. Okay. Because I, I do still wear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to be, it's like, 
you know, he wants to kind of help you move forward to know he's okay so that we could bring someone new in at some point. Okay. And he says, now you're about to tell me no, he said, and he says, don't you let her tell you no. This, so, he, so, he, so he's like, she's about to tell you no, you tell her, uh, it's not her choice. I'm bringing someone in for her, whether she likes it or not. So this is how he is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a pretty easygoing guy until he wants to stand up for something. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Isn't it so funny? So, yeah. Um, now, also, do you know the name by chance and uh, a Frank or a name that sounds like an F, Frank or Phil? W does that name connect at all for you for someone in the living or in spirit? Maybe someone on his side of the family? Not that I can think of. Gives me an F, like a F Phil, Frank. I'll leave it with you to see no. if it makes sense. And not a Francis or Phyllis, right? Where There's not an a F sound. No. Or a middle no. name. Are you sure? He's, he's pretty strong here. I'll leave it with you. If it makes sense, put it in. I have an uncle. Okay. What's, I have an uncle Frankie. I just. Thank you. Would that uncle Frankie be on the other side by chance? No. Oh, he's in the living. Yes, but he's uh, very sick. I was just going to say, I just, I, I'm not going to predict his passing, but I just feel like your husband has been around him for whatever that's worth. Uh, I'm not really, I, I feel like this uncle might be gravely ill. Very, very ill. Okay. And so I feel like your okay. husband wants you to know that he's been around this man. So just kind of know that, okay? And okay. Okay. so I'll, I will I will just kind of leave that with you. And there's a K, a K name as well. I don't know if there's a Karen or Kathy, a K sound. Do you happen to Colin. know? Who's that for you, sweetheart? That's our, our youngest son. Okay. He gives me, now Colin, I think has been really strong. Obviously all the kids are, but he makes me, are there three of you, three of those kids? Yes. Those, okay. Yes. It makes me feel like Colin is struggling the most. Would, would you understand that? And Colin doesn't talk about things. So no. I feel like he's saying, listen, let's give a, you know, tell Colin I'm with him. Who has the wallet? So you gave one of the kids his wallet. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. Would you have given yes. it to Colin or is it to one of the other kid boys? To the oldest. Okay. So he's just acknowledging these kids, right? He wants to acknowledge the, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got the wallet. I think there's a, something with keys. I don't know if you gave the kids a car or the keys or a keychain. There's a keys. He's talking about the keys. What's with the keys? Do you have a keychain from him? I can't think. I know. I'm putting on I do. the spot. Yeah, there's a keychain. I um, do. I have it. Hmm? Uh, that keychain's not for you. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, he wants you to give that keychain to one of the kids. I almost like it's the middle okay. one. Okay. I feel like it's the middle one. Okay. And he just shares with me. He shows me a deer. I don't know if he... Ha I mean, gosh, I, I don't want to say hunting, but... He shows me a deer, so I'm not sure if you, there's deer around you or something with hunting. But does this make sense? Yes, it does. It okay. does. He loves nature, okay. and he okay. has a ceramic deer that I made him in ceramic class. He, he lets see years and years and years ago. <laughs> he he lets me know you kept this though. You still have this deer. You took it yep, with I you. Still it, have it, it. Yep. He lets you know, and yep. he lets it's out. You took it out. It's out. So he lets you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. He lets you know that he's there with you. The other thing is, is, you know, I know you moved. It's obviously, you know, been very difficult. But the first, one of the first things you did was take his picture and put it right out. Am I correct? One of the first things you did is you yeah, grabbed yes. his photo and you put it right out. And he wants you to know, he wants you to know he knows you did this. And the last thing is he yeah. brings me back the ring. I can't tell if the ring is around your neck. It, it, the ring is hanging on something, correct? Is it hanging on the picture? Or is it hanging around your neck? Where's this ring? No, it, it, it's in my jewelry box. Okay, why don't you pull it out and hang it? He shows me it hanging. So maybe you can hang it over the mirror or over the picture. But just, just, to, okay. just to kind of let you know, it's like 
you know, a little bit of a space to let you know that he's around you and he, he is with you. Don't be mad at him. But there is a, um, no, what's there is around my neck that, that are from him, even though he didn't get to give it to me. Oh, what is it? Okay. What is it, honey? What is a necklace? Oh, this is what he's talking about because he definitely showed me it, you wearing it around your neck and he wants you to know he knows you're wearing it. I wear it every day. And he knows you do. But he says, stop being mad at him. You keep yelling at him. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> you, I yes. keep telling him to give me signs. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, he's, he is giving you signs. So he just, he just wants you to, yes, just. It, it's going to be okay, letting you know that it's going to be okay, all right? And letting you know that he is with you, okay? It's interesting. You know, it's odd. You, you are going to see a deer. I have no idea how that's going to happen because I don't know where you're living, but you are going to see a deer, okay? Oh, my gosh. Have you seen one yet? Okay. okay. No. Okay, just pay attention. You're going to see a deer. Now, that deer, I feel like it's going to be an actual deer, but if it's not, it's the picture of a deer. Something comes in a card with a deer on it. There's something, but that's his sign for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Lots of love to you. Lots of love to you. Know he loves you. you you're the love of his life, okay? Give the kids a big okay. kiss and hug from him, please. Can you do that? I will do that. Okay. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, lots of love and, and, you know, have a good night, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, everybody. That is the end of our show tonight. I just want to thank you all for tuning in, for joining me, um, for sharing your, your loved ones with me. Again, we have all those events coming up, so just check out the website. I'm coming to South Jersey, so, you know, if you are in the area, I'm doing a dinner with Spirit. Uh, let me show that to you real quick. There you go. It's a dinner with Spirit. I absolutely love this event. Uh, it's a full dinner that you get. It's an evening of Spirit messages. It's at Adelphia's, which is a great place for anyone there you know. I just, again, really want to thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a beautiful night, everybody. Thank you for listening to The Colby Rebel Show. Be sure to follow Colby on social media at Psychic Rebel. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, please head on over to iTunes to leave a review to help Colby grow the tribe. Colby is an international psychic medium, teacher, best-selling author, and speaker. She is a master teacher of the Lisa Williams International School of Spiritual Development and is the owner of the Colby Rebel Spirit Center in Los Angeles. Visit ColbyRebel.com.